It's your boy Dumbeezy, and it's time to warm up like a boss. First, I gotta get my equipment. Got my gloves, because I'm gonna be touching the ground and stuff. Warm up your head and neck. I start off by looking left to right, and then I look up and then down. And I do this on both sides before doing a couple other exercises. This sounds petty, but you can pull a muscle in your neck and it's a super petty injury to have. Just like Gucci said, if you want to bend like Gotti, you gotta stretch out your wrist. Ice like Gucci, gotta stretch out your wrist. I want you to start off by getting that dirt off your shoulder. <laughs> As we warm up our shoulders, I want you to feel the beat. Rock a little bit. We're going to be dancing on our skates. Twist your hips from left to right and keep your arms straight. I want you to swing your shoulders and pretend like you have a mop on your shoulders. Do not let that mop bend. Stretch out your shoulders a little bit more. If you can, roll your wrist in both directions. Shift your upper body from left to right. Notice how my legs stay in the middle, but my arms get closer to the pole. Get used to moving your body from side to side. It is different. It looks different. This is the basic stretching routine that I do. I hold each pose for around 10 seconds. I may do additional stretches depending on what I am doing that day. This is just a baseline of the amount of stretching that I like to do before I skate. Get those knees to 90 degrees. Make sure you're kicking yourself in the butt to stretch those glutes. Stamina Builder Level 1, 40 jumping jacks. Do 40 jumping jacks to the tempo of the song that you're listening to. Warming up your knees is important. The focus of my knee warm up isn't to do a special amount of exercises. It's to help my knees get stronger and to prepare them for different high and low moves. So I take it slow. I focus on form. We're coming down toe straight, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna make sure that our backs are sliding against an invisible wall as we're coming down. Hold for 10 seconds at the bottom, ideally, and then we're gonna take 10 seconds to come back up. Take it slow. Now we're gonna work on some wide squats. Our goal is to get as low as possible without straining ourselves, keeping really nice form. Put your hands on the ground and squat up. Take about four seconds to come down, four seconds to go back up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, stretch it out. Super knee strengthening exercise alert. Get a ball or you can even put your hands in between your knees. And you're gonna squat on the wall and I want you to squeeze the ball. Squeeze the ball with your knees to build up the muscles on the inside of your knees. Next, we're gonna do some boss twerking. This can help you build some knee strength and flexibility. Stand on one leg and just move the bottom part of your leg. Just move your knee. We're gonna start off by doing circles both directions we're gonna kick forward we're gonna move our feet left to right get a loosey goosey for these swings if you stand up on your toe you can alleviate the pressure on your knee i like to kick to the sides and kick straight to the back i know we're not all ballet dancers but i really like to make sure that my body is flat and my toe is pointed
If you can't bounce on beat, you can't skate on beat. So step one is to practice your bounce. Focus on staying on beat. Step two, practice walking on beat. One, two, three, and four. You might be saying these moves are simple. Yes, they are simple. They're simple because I want you to do them on beat. Let's take it up. Two, one, and two, three, and four. Let's go to our chest iso up and out a lot of times that we look awkward skating is because we look awkward moving working on your isolations will help you move better let's take it to the next level left and right and left and right let's take it all the way up let's take it in a circle we're gonna move it up to the right back and to the left after this I take a couple minutes just to dance. A lot of people want to dance on their skates, but they don't feel comfortable dancing. If you feel awkward dancing, if you can't go to the club and dance, putting your skates on ain't going to help you dance, baby. You got to learn to move. Before you log out and send all your friends messages about this bum tutorial, I want to break something down. Doing cool footwork and being on tempo and grooving are two different things. They're two different skills that need to be built. In order to groove and do your fancy footwork on tempo, you need to understand tempo. You need to understand what you're trying to do. You need to understand staying on beat. The way that you come to understand staying on beat is by learning and practicing it in its simplest form. All you have to do is hit one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To the music. When you add all the fancy footwork, when you add the turns, when you add the emotion that comes into wanting to kill something and really look cool doing it, it puts too much in your mind. You lose the ability to focus on staying on beat. And the reason why people don't do this and the reason why people might scoff at what I just put up is because of their ego. There's so much ego skating these days. There's so much ego skating in general. People want to look like this person. People want to do that trick. But what people don't understand is the way to get that trick isn't glamorous. It isn't all, you know what I mean, sex kicks and flosses or whatever the kids are doing these days. That's the end of my warm up. If you like the warm up, if you like my videos, you want to learn some more from me, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and write anything down below in the comments that you want me to cover next. Until next time, lock on, boss fam. Bye.